welcome. This is Melissa Armel with a Stock Swoosh, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to get and stay motivated as a trader. This is by me, Melissa Armel. I own my own company called The Stock Swoosh. If you'd like more information, you can email me at info at thestockswoosh.com and follow me on YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn under Gap Traders. Or feel free to call me at 929-3200-GAP. So let's talk about the stock market. The stock market is accessible to everyone from any walk of life to trade it and make money. Why doesn't everyone train then successfully? Why? Well, that's easy because many, 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 many people don't know how to trade. They don't have a strategy. They don't have a system. They take trades in the wrong direction. They don't have any money management. But also, another big reason that people are not successful trading is they're just not motivated or they fail to stay motivated. Motivation takes work. People are so fast at just quitting. Like, they just want to give up and quit so quickly. Or people just say, oh, screw it. And they'll risk their whole account in a trade or they'll double down in something if they're down. I mean, you know, all of these activities are more like gambling, okay? Trading is a purposeful action where you have a plan of action, a system, a strategy that you utilize every single day in order to be successful. You have to stay motivated to trade. Some days, trades don't work. That doesn't mean that you quit, and it doesn't mean you blow up your account. So all in all, motivation really, 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 really takes work. Um, and the thing is, you know, from my personal experience, I guess I'm good at motivating myself, and I'm very good at motivating other people, but, you know, when I stand back and look at other people and see how they are, I think, gosh, you know, a lot of people really struggle with this. They struggle so much motivating themselves. Like I said, people tend for whatever reason to want to quit and give up so easily. I don't know why this is true, but it definitely is true. You cannot quit. You cannot give up. You have to keep going. You have to keep your dreams alive. If your dream is to train full time for a living, or if your dream is just to, to have extra income trading from the market, don't give up. Motivation takes work. It takes hard work sometimes, some days, some weeks. You never notice when you're having a bad day that everything seems to get out of control and get worse. Or if you're having a good day, everything seems to be fabulous. Like things seem to snowball, whether good or bad. So don't let the bad thing snowball is the point, okay? So what is motivation? The after instance of motivating or providing with a reason to act in a certain way. Two, the state or condition of being motivated. This has to be you. You need to keep yourself motivated. Or three, something that, that motivates inducement or incentive. So who or what gets you motivated to trade? Number one, could be your friends. Could be your family. Could be a teacher, someone like me, an educator. Could be a book. It gets you motivated. You say, oh my gosh, now I know why I want to do this. An experience that you have, meeting someone new as a total stranger, watching a television show, the market, just the excitement of thinking about the market, talking about the market, money, wanting to create more money, make more money, manifest wealth for yourself. And then obviously what or who or what gets you motivated, the a number one thing personally for me is myself. I'm the number one motivator for myself. It is me. Um, and I think that you need yourself when you're doing this because this is an individual independent activity. While I run a live trading room and there's people in it, and again, you're listening to me, you're the one that's pressing the button. You're the one that's making the choices. You and only you, okay? And you have to get up every day and do it. So think about this. You know, you want to be as successful as you possibly can be. Don't work against yourself. Work for yourself. When you're thinking negatively, you're, you're working against yourself. You've got plenty of other people working against you in the market that want your money to take the money away from you. When you're making money in a trade, you're taking money from someone else. Someone else is losing when you're making the money and vice versa. When you're losing, someone else is taking the money from you. I'm taking money from people when I'm right in a trade and they're wrong. That happens a lot, okay? This is not where you're actually creating like a like a product when you trade. The money is just there, poof, because you get it right. And so the reality is that you have to be on your own side. That means staying positive, not going in this negative place. Again, so many traders wanna quit so fast and so many people wanna think negatively 
more so than think positively, particularly in this age of COVID. I'm sorry to say, but it's true. More people in the world are negative about life and the world and, oh, this thing, that thing, everything's against us. You know, ever since COVID, it's everything's this conspiracy theory. The world's against us. You can, if you think like that, it's going to be hard for you to get up every day, hard for you to get up in the days that are good, and hard for you to get up the days that are that are that are tough. Uh, you have to push through it. You have to push ahead, and you have to think positive. So, how do you get motivated? Well, use whatever resources you can to get yourself motivated to trade each day and each week. Having a good support system is key. For me, it was always my family, and now you know I, I still have my family that supports me, but really, I'm on my own. So I support myself, but if you have friends, family, a training room like mine, a training room that has a positive influence on you can get you motivated and keep you motivated. It was one of the, my very few students, he said the most wonderful thing. He said, this is such a great place to be every day. He said about the room. He said, this is so much fun. I love your room. It is just a great place to be every day. And that was so adorable. That was so cute. It was back in 2013, I think. Having dreams can be motivational. I have a lot of dreams. And friends and family can be a great motivation for you as well. So the people in your life and your surroundings have a lot to do with getting you motivated and keeping you motivated a ton. Before fall of this year, we're getting, we're, we're right before fall. Like fall officially starts, I think, in less than 10 days. Before fall of this year, do a clean sweep of all the negative people and influences in your life. Set it up that you can have an incredibly successful trading year into the close of 2021. You want to do it. You want to be successful. You. So how do you stay motivated? The same things that got you motivated in the beginning can keep you motivated now. If you started trading 10 years ago or five years ago, those same things, okay, remember those things. Remember when you started, before you started not to do well or had losses or a negative attitude, when you started at the beginning, when you were in love with the market and you were hopeful and you believed in yourself and believed you could do it, go back to that point in time in your mind. Remember the feeling in you, inside you, in your heart. When you need motivation, you have to look at the bigger picture. Why are you doing this in the first place? When I started out, I wanted to do it because I wanted a new career. I was so tired of the mortgage industry and dealing with the banks and the underwriters and everybody and then changing the guidelines. I wanted out, I wanted out. I was working seven days a week, I couldn't take it anymore, okay? Sometimes you just hit a wall and you say, I have to do something to change my life. And that's where I was at. And that was a bigger picture for me. And, and luckily I had that bigger picture motivation because it took more than three years to figure out my system. I, I thought I was gonna be able to do this like that. It didn't work out like that. It was a process that took a long time. It's like, you know, writing a book. Well, you can't write a book in a week. Could you theoretically? Maybe, but you'd be taking every second to do it and it may not be that good. Things take time. Bigger picture goals take time. Like building a house, finding a house. Making money trading is about the bigger picture. There are 200 trading days in the year. That's a lot of time. You've got plenty of time. Even, even if you start trading and do my class in September, you've got between now and the end of the year, that's so much time. Give yourself the time and room to become successful and stay positive. And being in the Stock Swiss Show Live Trading will help you stay positive and it will help you stay motivated. You need all of these things. You must be patient with yourself. I do not have children. My sister does. I have a niece and nephew. You know, you have to be patient with kids. They're growing up. I know if I have children someday, I will be patient with them. Think of this if you have kids. Remember when you had babies. You didn't scream and yell at them every second. You were taught them things and were patient with them. You have to teach yourself things and be patient with yourself. Remember those, those feelings when you had children, when they were young. So, you know, one of the other qualities I think it's important to have when you're trading is you need courage. It takes courage to trade every day. It takes courage to risk your own money in the market. It takes courage to learn something new. A lot of people, you know, are around the block and around the block and have been trading longer than I'm alive and it's hard for them to break old habits. You gotta learn something new. If what you're doing isn't working, there's a reason, people. It ain't working. You need to do something new. It takes courage to get up and trade the next day when you lost the day before, but you must do this when you're learning. You have to have what I call amnesia. Amnesia is a loss of a large block of interrelated memories, complete or partial loss of memory caused by brain injury shock. So, what is this all about? Well, it's you 
don't think about all the losses that you had in the past trading or any particular stock or any particular day or month or year or don't think about classes you spent money on that you didn't learn anything from have amnesia take today and say i'm moving forward things are going to work out for me starting now starting now okay from this moment on things are going to work out i'm going to make money in the market i'm going to make money trading i'm going to make more money than i've ever dreamed I'm going to learn a system that works this time around, okay? You need strength. That's another important quality. You need to be very, very strong as a person, as an individual. You got to. So what do you do when things don't work right? There's days where things don't work. That's what trading is about. It's about odds. It's My system is a 26-point rating system. I'm not looking for a perfect 26 points every day. If I find it, great. I'm trying to get 20 or more, as perfect as I can get. Okay, training is about odds. I need to put the odds in my favor. You need to put the odds in your favor. That's the only way it is. Some trades don't work some days. That's just what it is. Trading isn't black and white. There's a gray area. You live in the gray area. It's very much like life, okay? So what do you do when things don't work right? Is it your fault? No, it's not your fault when things don't work right. It's not the market's fault either. It's not anyone or anything's fault. It's just trading. It's just about the fact that the mathematical odds sometimes are set up that plays just fail. That's why you have to learn a strategic way to play them so that if they fail, you only lose a little. And if they work, guess what? You make a lot. Don't give up in the market if you don't get a good play every day. You can't. Trading and making money trading is about playing the odds correctly in your favor. If you do this over the course of a month, a week, and a year, you will make money by staying on track with your game plan. And your game plan is what? You want to do this for a living or you want to make money as a part-time job or a part-time thing. So what to do when they do work right? Well, that's easy. You celebrate and pat yourself on the back. Good job. Congratulations. You rated the gap. You did the trade. You made the money. You got out at the right time. Perfect. However, don't start getting lazy. When you have days and days and days in a row where everything works right and perfect, don't start to get complacent with your discipline. I know it's hard, but you can't, okay? Everything, whatever you're doing, has a season. I love living in the Northeast because we do have four seasons. I do like fall. Well, I love the summer and the warm weather. Fall is a beautiful time, and we're getting into that period here in New York. It's a time for extra study. Getting into the fall, you want to get better. The last earning season of 2021, and it's going to be an exciting time. It starts at the beginning of October, and it's going to be a very, very uh, profitable time to trade. So between now and then, get yourself situated. You can take my class, learn my method. You sit down and go over your trading plan. You make changes. You may want to increase your risk per trade, decrease your risk per trade. Maybe you're doing day trades. You want to do options too or both. You know, sit down and do the work and the extra study right now to prepare. It's all the preparation. All my rating system is I prepare in the morning, the pre-market to trade. That prep work, the more prep work I do ahead of time helps me to, to trade better and make more money on the live day, okay? So really all of that prep work helps. Anyways, when they don't work, what do you do? Well, here was the one that failed. This was AAP and A24. Just want to show you this here. Take it up. This close here, this gap down. We shorted it. We got stopped. This is an ugly tale too, I will say that. It fell a couple days after that, but anyways, long story short, we lost on this trade. This trade was a loss, okay? So we lost in this. We entered it at 206.05 and exited it at the stop, 20802, boom. It did not work. Again, it failed. And I use limit order stops, which stopped me out. It's a fixed risk, okay? Do I give up on the gap strategy? Do I never do a gap again? No, it didn't work is that any system has a percentage of trades that lose. So my system works because it has a high percentage that win. So I have a high win ratio system, but some trades lose. But I also use stops that have a fixed risk. It's not anything other than the odds of the game, which is trading when you're playing, that sometimes things don't work. And that's why you use a stop to protect yourself. Now, here was one that did work. Urban, we did this the following day. This was A25. Here you can see the big fat red bar. Again, this was a short. So I used my system here. This one worked. So it's easy. No brainer. Stock close to your gap down, fell, boom. We shorted it, got the drop. This continued as well. That was a nice move. Price of the entry was 37.60, 3,000 shares. Risk was 2,700. 
Exit at 3645, boom. Total profit, 3450. Again, the system works. I don't give up on the system because one trade doesn't work. You can't all of a sudden go into a negative place when one trade doesn't work, okay? Again, it's the whole philosophy and the whole point of trading, which is what? You want to be able to do this and you want to be able to make money. And when you're, when you're trading, if you're too in your head, negative, 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 then you're, you're going to have a hard time being successful because you're, again, going back to what I was saying earlier, you're working against yourself. And many, many people are living in the past. The whole idea and the concept of having amnesia is you start living in the present moment. You start living in the present moment and planning for your future. You don't live in the past. When you're constantly thinking about the past, you're going to continue to repeat those same mistakes because you can't get past the past. All right? So why you must wait for the good ones? Well, you must wait for the good ones. Some days we don't trade. Today we didn't do anything. There wasn't anything that rated good today. I watched one thing, it didn't set up, we didn't do it, okay? You must wait for the good ones. That is why the rating system is so great. This is why you have to keep yourself under control. Don't trade for the sake of trading. This isn't Ms. Pac-Man or some computer game. You're doing this for a reason, a business to make money. And sometimes, Things don't set up, okay? So you have to stay motivated and keep yourself motivated on the slow days, like today. If you don't, you'll miss the good ones. If you give up, you will walk away empty-handed, and then you will miss the good ones too. Don't get caught up in negativity so that you don't do the right thing when the market hands it to you. People get so tripped up by the moves of the market. It's, it's happening right now today, actually, because we're starting to fall. People have a hard time having faith every day. Keep the faith. The faith is in yourself. You believe in yourself. I always say I can be perfect for 30 minutes. I can be perfect for half an hour a day. I can be perfect for one hour a day. I can be absolutely perfect. Focused, looking at the right things, doing the right actions, perfect. I call it the monk. I'm in monk mode in the morning. And particularly that important part of the time in the morning between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Eastern time. When I'm looking at it, everything live. The market, the stock we're trading, all of it. And I need to take the right actions, okay? That monk attitude will help serve you when you're trading. And you can utilize it in other areas of your life as well where you need to be focused and make very, very important decisions, okay? All of this comes together. And all of this is going to help you trade. It's the focus. It's the clarity. Again, one of the reasons why people lose in the market is they lack clarity. They don't know what strategy they should be doing, what stock they should be looking at, or what direction to take it. They have no idea. They're back and forth all the time, wishy-washy, wish, shoulda, woulda, coulda. I have a clear, clear path and a system I follow. It's the 26-point rating system. That's it. Boom. If it rates per the gap and then it sets up, I take it. If it doesn't, I don't. Boom. That's it. The clarity helps me and helps keep me, again, focused and in that monk-like mode. So how do you keep the momentum going, which is your motivation? <laughs> Easy, making money, green. Of course, if you don't know what to do and you haven't taken my course yet, you may not be making money. So you have to take a risk, a leap of faith, so to say, in taking my class and paying for my class, which is $7,000. You take a leap of faith that you're going to be able to do this and you're going to succeed and you're going to do well in the future. You have to keep the momentum going. You can't give up. You can't just say, I'm not going to do this anymore or I quit or I whatever. Once the momentum's there that you're interested in trading and you're motivated, keep it going. It's kind of like with television. The more I'm on, the more I get asked to be on. It's like the momentum just kind of just goes and goes and goes. The more I'm on, the more shows I get asked to be on, the more recognition I get, the more people notice me. When I'm not on or I'm not talking about stuff, then I'm losing the momentum. So it's like anything in life that you do. You know, my dad and my father's a golfer. The more he golfs, the better he is. So, you know, it's, it's, you've got to keep the momentum going. When you're there and you're doing it, stick to it. Stick to the program. Don't deviate. Don't give up if you have one loser like the AAP. You can't, okay? You'll miss the next good one like Urban here. And don't deviate too. I made up the rules, follow them. So, this is a massive mountain. Pretend you're walking up the mountain, you're climbing up the mountain, you're trying to get to the top. It's a goal, it's a goal you've set for yourself. That goal could be, like I said, to trade for a living. 
So, you know, we have to persevere sometimes through the hard days. You're gonna have hard days. You're gonna have easy days, you're gonna have hard days, you're gonna have days in between. Sometimes you get up in the morning, you never know what's gonna happen on that particular day. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what the market's gonna do tomorrow. I can look at it, I can tell you where I think it's gonna go, but I wonder, like, get up in the morning, I see where it's gapping, okay? So you have to persevere through the good times and the bad times. Trading and trading success and what set, will set you apart from most of the people that are in the market is to have longevity and consistency in your trading. Trading is about consistency and longevity. I have both of those. Been doing this a long time and one strategy a long time. And the consistency is that I only do my golden gap system and strategy and I don't do anything else. If you want to have longevity, you need to produce consistent results to stay in the game. You want to produce consistent results, and if you want to, you must stick to the plan and stay consistent with your trading strategy. And not only that, don't give up. If you give up, guess what? You're never going to make it. And if you get up, give up, guess what? The market won't care. No one will care, but you should care. So don't give up. You have to be your, your best own cheerleader for yourself. Your best advocate is you because you're the one that will benefit the most when you succeed. Do you understand? So let's talk a little bit about success. How are you going to be successful if you give up after one setback, particularly, you know, or two setbacks or any setbacks for that matter? Success means removing the blockages towards success and not allowing setbacks to guide your decisions. They were not present when you made the choice to trade. Those setbacks were not present when you were getting motivated. Success does not come without taking a risk and making an effort. Part of the effort means continuing to move forward and to stay positive when you are tested in your trading. If there was no risk involved in trading in life, guess what? Everyone would be successful. Everyone would be successful, not just in the market, but in everything that they ventured towards. And that is not the case. What's the difference between sometimes when you see tennis players, uh, the US Open's going on right now, and you see some people are, are all these players are good, really. I mean, to get to this level, they're all good. And you say, well, how do some of them win the tournaments and some of them don't? Because they persevere. And they have that certain quality of strength and inner strength that allows them to persevere through the setbacks and continue going and then winning. Okay. This is a great picture. It's like this guy here. He is, he is starved. The only cheese in sight is in the trap. He puts on his helmet and he goes for it. He's prepared. Again, this is like taking the trade, putting the stop in. It's the protection. The helmet is a protection. He needs that cheese. He's got to eat tonight, but he's well aware of the risks involved. The trap is there. It's set. He might get hurt. So he does what he can so that he doesn't get hurt or he doesn't get hurt as much. Okay. So, you know, think of this when you're trading that you assess all the risks. That's why I read the gap. It's 26 points. 26 points I'm looking for. The higher the points, I feel like the trade is worth the risk. You can't take, you can't make money trading unless you're willing to take risk. You have to put the risk on, the cash on the trade to make the money. So for me, it has to be worth it. It has to be rated per my golden gap rating system, 26 points that I look at. If it rates high, then I say this is worth the risk. The risks are in my favor that it's going to work. The odds are in my favor, okay? It's called calculated risk, not risk for risk's sake. Otherwise, he would go in without a helmet on and grab the cheese and he probably would die or at least be very hurt, okay? The risks have to be worth it and you have to protect yourself too. I think a lot of people that attempt to trade the market have all these crazy ideas. They're gonna take $500 and make 100 grand in three months. They're gonna take $2,000 and invest it in a stock like GME and get rich. Those things aren't reality. GME gap down today that was that was so predictable. It was as predictable as the last earnings that it would fall and, and just collapse. The fact is, look at this as a business where you're going to be consistent in everything you do. Turn fantasy into reality. When you are looking to trade, when you are doing this, all you have to do is think positive, learn what to do, stay in that mindset where you go move back past the past. And you're living in reality right now today, you turn your, your dreams from what is really a fantasy into reality by taking proactive steps to get there, okay? 
you the fact that you want to make a lot of money in the market or you want to get rich trading that's that doesn't have to be a fantasy it's a fantasy if you think you're going to do it in a really quick time with a small amount of cash and not knowing what to do that's a fantasy can you make a lot of money and become wealthy in the market over time with a good size account if you know what to do when you get good at it yes that is not a fantasy that is a goal and that is a great fabulous dream but in order to turn it into reality you have to learn what to do okay i i it just amazes me how people think that they're going to make money in the market when they have no clue what to do the idea of turning fantasy into reality is real if you put proactive normal steps into it and look at it again I, I like writing stuff down i have notebooks and notebooks and notebooks and i like to write stuff down writing stuff down writing your goals down writing the steps down you're going to take to get there step 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 again i created 26 points the steps lists these things help you turn your plan of actions into something okay anyways trading overall though really is about power it's it's the most powerful win, quite frankly. It's the power of the market. It's the power of the gap for me, which creates the momentum and volatility to play on and make money and have big moves. It's the power of the Golden Gap system, which I own and use daily, and people come and learn from me. It's the power of conviction, which is having a conversation with a student, and she was saying, you know, I really didn't, people say this word conviction, but nobody says it and talks about it the way that you do. She said, the way that you describe it and you talk about it and you use it to trade is so, so unique. And I said, yes, because it's, I speak from the heart. When I talk about conviction and having conviction in a trade or something, I'm speaking with heart. And that is something that is difficult to replicate. You have to learn and understand the system so that you can get conviction yourself. That will help you take risk and it will help you trade. And also it's the power of information power of knowledge. Not only that, it's the power of you. You are the power in your life. You and only you. No one is giving you, uh, telling you what to do on any particular day. That's something that you don't have to do. And again, we're living in a, we're living in a world right now and we're living in an environment right now where it's like people prefer being told what to do. Thinking for yourself is not a bad thing. You are a powerful being. You can make this happen for yourself if you want to do it, but you have to learn how. So my role as an educator, as a motivator, is to teach you how. But you still have to do it yourself. And you have to believe in yourself that you can. It's really about the power of the human spirit. The power of the human spirit is the power within you. You are the one with the power. Your human spirit is so powerful. You have the power within yourself to follow a disciplined trading plan, make money in the market, and keep yourself motivated during personal setbacks. You can control your own destiny by making a choice in your spirit not to allow anything to stand in the way of your trading success or your financial success in life, okay? Someone emailed me the other day about something. And I said, this is not rocket science. It was something about managing, managing a trade exit. And I thought, this is not rocket science. Set the order to get out of the trade at 50% and that's it. Once you learn it, you know it. Don't make things overly complicated. Again, don't work against yourself. So let's talk about the power of intention. When you have a clear vision, a clear intention, and a plan of action in place, you can use the power of intention to assist you in creating the trading result you, you desire. Get clear. Think in your mind and just clear everything. Intention only works with complete clarity and focus. I get up every day and say, I'm going to do well today. I'm gonna make money today. I'm gonna to be successful today. I may not know what gap I'm trading, but that's my intention every day. Focus on one or two stocks. Focus on one strategy. Focus by being in the Stocks with Show Live trading room. If you wanna join the room, you must do my Golden Gap course. Everyone in there has done the class. The trade's set up quickly. They know what they're doing. It's a great room. It's an educational room and a motivational room as well. All of these things will help you get and stay clear and motivated, which is very important because I think, like I said earlier, a lot of people when they're trading do not have clarity. They're all over the place. They don't know if they're going to go long or short. Some people go long and short the same stock the same day, which is nuts. That's zero conviction. That's no conviction. You can't have conviction something's going to move higher and lower at the same time. That's crazy town. Okay. And so many people trade like that. It's just so stupid. You really have to know what you're doing in order to make money. And it's particularly if you want to be consistent. You can create your own dream realm. You can live in it. You can create it. You can imagine it. You can do it. You can take real steps, okay? Not fantasy steps, things that are outrageous. 
I'm talking about real proactive steps where you're going to make it happen. That's what you need to do. So 2022 is right around the corner. Start working towards a new life now. It is hard to believe that it is almost the holidays and that 2022 is less than four months away. That's nuts. It is absolutely nuts, but I'm telling you, it is almost here. So get a plan of action in place right now. Again, change of seasons is a good time for this. We're getting into the fall season before winter. You need a plan of action. You need a plan of action in place in order to be successful trading. And you need a proven strategy and a system that works in order to make money trading. You absolutely must follow this plan in order to achieve success. So my next class is the on um, september 25th and 26th 9 a.m to 5 p.m eastern time if you want to learn the class tuition is six thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars it is called the golden gap this professional bearish gap system the class is online you can be anywhere in the world and take it if you want to sign up email me at melissa at the this is where i teach the class it's the meat and potatoes it's the 26 points it's the entries it's targets all of it in the class and then you'd be in the room if you want to join the room then after the class for the next starting season remember education is a gift to yourself part of the plan of action is learning what to do you're not going to be successful in the market if you don't know what to do jumping from free trading room trial and watching free videos online is not going to make you money and all the people that are in these free chat reddit rooms obviously a lot of them lost money today in gme like i said and have been losing money for the last few months uh, the thing is, you're not going to be consistent, consistently profitable without a good system and a good strategy. But you've got to have a good attitude as well. You have to believe that you can do it. You have to believe in yourself. Part of the benefit of taking the classes, you can join the live room. We have great results. I call the trades live, the entry, the stop, and the exit. You never know what we're going to do in a day. Some days are big, some days are small, some days are medium, some days we don't do anything like today because it's right after the holiday, it is a slow wink, but I look very hard every single morning when I get up. I spend a good two and a half hours scanning. If there's anything to do, trust me, I will find it. The room opens around 8.30ish. Sometimes I have it open by 7.38. We haven't traded till noon in a while, but I will leave the room open if we're still in something. Uh, if you sign up for the class and take the class, the room is $500 a month after the class. Again, it's a great room. We trade in the morning. It's live day trading. It's not options. It's only the equity day trades. If you want to sign up for the options newsletter, that is a separate subscription. The newsletters are emailed to you in live time. So this is an equity trading room. This is a very focused trading room that plays gaps based on technical analysis and really based on my system. Like this Zoom. We, we were talking about this Zoom earlier today. This was a nice play. Beautiful play here. Stock close to your gap down. Look at the volume. It was a nice move. We shorted this. We made money in the Zoom. It was a great trade. So thank you, everyone. Thank you for listening. If you're interested, again, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, you must email me for the forums. If you have questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Think about everything I said today, and I will talk to everyone soon.